All right, so I'm going to follow the instructions straight from the repo for the workshop. So firstly, install Anaconda. This is a Windows computer. So let's download the Anaconda installer. All right. Next, click next. And this is important. Make sure you install it for just yourself and not system wide. That should be the location, so within your user directory. And this is sufficient. I you don't need to do this. All right. This will take a few minutes. Okay, it's done. We don't need to open these websites. All right, so I need to refresh this. Okay, so Anaconda has been installed in the user directory. That's what we want. Okay, and then let's open up the Anaconda prompt. And okay, actually, the way I usually do it is just from the start menu. So, Anaconda prompt. Do not touch Anaconda Navigator. So, just use the prompt. All right, so now we have the Anaconda prompt. So, let's go back to the instructions. So, as it says, all the following commands are going to be entered in the Anaconda prompt. Um, if you're on Linux, you just use whatever terminal you use, and likewise on Mac. So the first step is to install Mamba. So let us copy, and then Control V to paste. Control Shift V on Linux, probably on Mac too. So this can take a while, depending on how fast or slow your computer is, it could take 10 to 30 minutes. If you already have Mamba and Conda installed, you can skip this step. So it is important that um, Mamba, well, this step is done in your base environment. So the environment that you're currently in is shown over here at the uh, leading edge of the prompt. Okay, so sometimes when it pauses like this, I just press enter on my keyboard. Okay. The kind of Mamba are very finicky. Okay, it's done. And now it'll ask if you want to install 
all of these packages. So press Y and enter. Okay, great. So that's the first step. So the next step is to create a new environment with Mesmerize Core installed. So if you install the Mesmerize Forge, sorry, the Mesmerize Core Conda package, it will also install Cayman since Cayman is a dependency. So if you install Mesmerize Forge, it's going to give you basically everything that you need. So if you already have an environment that has Cayman in it, you can just install Mesmerize Core into that environment using what's shown over here. But since this is a fresh install, I'm going to just install Mesmerize Core into a new environment. This should take a few minutes. Okay, maybe it has hanged again, so I'm just going to press enter. Yeah, typical. Okay. Someone should create a conda package that automatically presses enter on your keyboard when you're installing packages. Okay, it's done. So it's installed Mesmerize Core into an environment called MesCore. And as you can see, it tells you to activate this environment, use this. So, you know, it's the same thing that's basically written over here. So the way this works is basically you have told Mamba to create an environment with this name. That's what the dash N is for. And if you want to activate or use packages in that environment, you have to first activate the environment. And the way you do that is you tell Mamba to activate the environment by just giving it the name. Okay, so now we're in the mess core environment, which contains Mesmerize and Cayman and all of their dependencies. So after you have installed Mesmerize core, um, and activated the environment, you need to install Cayman Manager. So the way you do that is just by this. And it's important that you're in the mess core environment when installing Cayman Manager. This usually takes less than 30 seconds. Oh, okay. I have already 
created this uh, directory from before, so that's what exists. So, well, to show you what it would look like otherwise, I'm just going to delete this because it basically creates this directory called payment data. Okay, so that's what it, this is what it would look like for a fresh install. All right. So, yeah, as you can see, it's installed Cayman data. So, what it basically does is it creates this, direc this directory. Okay, so on Windows, sometimes you'll have issues with the step. And in order to do that, you basically need to give it the full path to the Cayman Manager file, which you do like this. If you have more issues, just contact us about any of these steps. Uh, all right, so next, let's just verify the installations. So we are in our Anaconda prompt, and we are in the MESCore environment, which has Mesmerize Core and Cayman installed, and also Cayman Manager py has been run. So let's launch ipython, which is just an interactive Python shell. All right, so then let us import cayman. And let's import mesmerize core. And now we can check the cayman version like this. Okay, that is the latest version of Cayman. And we can also check to make sure that it has installed the latest version of Mesmerize. So it's just important to make sure it hasn't installed the beta version of Mesmerize, but this is the first full release. So all this looks good. So the final last step is to install fastplotlib, which we'll be using a lot for visualizations um, directly from the GitHub repo. So actually, the first step to do that is to install git in the environment. So this is a really simple step. I should be very quick. All right, and then finally, we can install fastplotlib. Okay, and that's uh, basically as far as installation is concerned. So uh, we would recommend that you also just try out the demo notebooks to make sure that things work. So I'll show you how to do that. So first for fastplotlib. So if uh, just a few notes, if you're on Windows or Mac, don't worry about GPU drivers. But if you're on Linux, um, you know, just take a look at this note. OK. So we want to use this demo notebook. So actually, this down here tells you how you can clone. Uh, well, you can just download uh, each repo as a zip file to access the demo notebooks. So this is perhaps the simplest way, unless you are familiar with cloning Git re repos. So I'm going to open this. And I'm just going to extract it into a repos directory. I like to keep every all my repos organized in a repos directory. All right. I'll also get Cayman and Mesmerize Core. Okay. Just extract them all to this repos directory.
Okay, so I'm gonna go to that repos directory and I will launch Jupyter Lab in order to try those notebooks. Okay, so first let's try the fastball web one because that's the simplest. So it's under examples, and then we've got simple.ipy notebook. Let's open that one. So in order to run cells in Jupyter Notebook, you just press shift enter, and then it'll take you to the next cell. Okay, so as long as you get this first plot, everything looks good. If you're curious um, or just want to, you can also go through some of the other notebooks. So everything here looks great. So I'm just gonna shut down this kernel. Okay, let's try out the Cayman demo notebook. So the simplest demo notebook is demo pipeline. Okay, again, a bunch of shift enter. Everything looks good so far. Okay. Okay, at this point, I'm going to assume that everything is pretty much working uh, properly. So I will, well, if you're curious, you can check the rest. But lastly, I am just going to check and make sure, I'll show you how to check that Mesmerize Core is working properly. So the simplest notebook is the mcore CNMF one. Okay, you're going to have to change this to your local directory. local Cayman data directory. Okay, things look good so far. Basically, if you can run most of these first cells, you're pretty, you're good to go. You can explore the rest of this notebook if you want, but I'm just going to run one item. Okay, I'm just going to skip those cells because it will run more items. Okay, it's this is basically good to go. All right, yeah, so that's basically all you need to do in order to um, install FastWatLib came in and mesmerized core from from scratch.